buddies. So I am here in Bangalore and I am with Ether Energy. Okay. So basically, this is the first time on our channel that we would actually be testing and reviewing an electric machine. We bikers, we love our exhaust modes, we love our you know gasoline machines. But let's see if we should actually put our money on an electric machine. Okay, see we understand it's good for the environment and all of that, but should we really be putting that amount of money on an electric machine? So what I will do today, okay, I am with Alsa. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I forget my name also sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, we have this beautiful looking electric scooter named Ether 450. Correct? Yes. And 450X. X is a sport model kind of thing. Correct? More power. So it's, what we're launching, uh, it's what we're launching across the country All right. in the coming months. Okay. So, so, both models would be available? So, the 450 will kind of evolved into the 450X and the 450 Plus. And right. the 450X is got all the juice that bikers like you are probably looking for in terms of performance. And okay. that's what you'll be riding today. All right. So first, I, let's take a look at the real scooter. So here is the scooter. Looks beautiful. All right. Very nicely built. And Praveen, please let us show the display console. It has this nice, uh, you know, LCD display where everything is controlled from here, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, see, the most important question for anyone who's putting in their money, you know, uh, on an electric correct. machine would be, how reliable is the battery? Now, reliability, what I mean by that is, if they buy it now, okay, how long will the battery last? So, uh, in the long in the sense, how many years can I go on with this battery? where I don't have to buy another battery. Like for example, if we have a battery on our home inverter, UPS, okay, uh, it can last for about five years. Yes. That's it. After that, we got to buy a new one, even if we use it or we don't use it or we charge it or anything. So here, okay, how long can this, is this a lithium ion battery? Yes. Okay, how long? Like I bought it today, for how many years will this battery last? Now, uh, like with every machine, uh, mm -hmm. On how, depending on how you use it, how aggressive you are with it, your battery can last anywhere between five to eight years. All especially right. for a for a for a scooter, mm -hmm. where you are going to be using it on a daily basis, on a daily commute. Charge cycle is one parameter that you would look at yes. for any battery. Yes, we have about thousand charge cycles on this way. Good. That right. was my next question. You know, right. because yeah. when it comes to batteries, especially lithium ion, what is a charge cycle? Charge cycle is from hundred percent all the way to say about. 90% uh, discharge and when you charge it back that is called one cycle of charge how many times can you do it because there's a chemical reaction happening inside okay. okay how many times can you do it before the chemical reaction dies or goes down that is the charge cycle so you can charge it about a thousand times you're saying yes. correct yes so if you charge it say every single day okay so that is about three, close to three, three years three, three years enough three years correct. okay so how much would it cost in case I would have to buy a new battery? A battery right now, uh, the either 450's battery is priced at roughly around 50,000 rupees. Mm -hmm. I say roughly right now because yeah. uh, we've hardly been in the market for about one and a half years. Mm. And every battery is officially warranted as of now because we have a warranty of three years and unlimited kilometers. Unlimited kilometers. Your warranty here, you have a three year unlimited mm. kilometer warranty. Post that, if you're looking at a replacement, it'll be about 50,000. Okay. So say for example, I charge it four times a day. Yes. Okay. Four cycles in a day. I do up the, I mean, thousand cycles within one year. So you're going to give me a new absolutely, battery? Absolutely, All right. absolutely. Now, every battery, it could be any battery. If it's rechargeable, there is something called a self discharge absolutely. rate. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, you charge a battery up to 100%, leave it there and don't touch it. Even when it's not connected to any device, the battery is still discharging. Okay. Absolutely. So now, here on this machine, I charge it today fully, okay? Yes. I go out on a vacation or anywhere, come back after a month or so. Now, what is the self-discharge rate? Now, say you've charged the vehicle, it's at 100% mm. and you're leaving town for a few days. If you come back tomorrow, it'll be at about 90. Okay. If you come back day after, your charge basically, it'll be about 10% of discharge every day. All if right. you do not shut down the vehicle. Okay. 
what I showed you earlier, we have a shutdown mode. Yeah. What the shutdown software mode, shutdown. Yes. Yeah. What the shutdown mode does is switches off all the peripherals, mm -hmm. all the auxiliaries. Yeah. It completely goes into a uh, zombie mode. Mm. So that way, you have a discharge of about just one percent. Oh, so you come back right. ten days later after a shutdown, you're going to have a battery state of charge yeah. of about ninety percent. Ninety percent. Yeah. You're still going to be able yeah. to go about fifty kilometers on your sport mode. That is good. That is good. So we've been yeah. able to manage that, and uh, if you don't shut down you're going to see that charge rate at about 10% every day. You're going to lose about 10% of charge. Mm. What we also advise to keep the health of battery mm. in check is that at least every three months or 100 days, you do a full charge. True, true. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's why we have not just a smart scooter, we also have a smart charger that we give you with the scooter. Mm. The, the ch home charger that we give at home will take about six hours to charge your bike, unlike okay. our fast chargers on the charging grid. Okay. Six hours of zero to 100% full charge, it has an auto cutoff feature, so you do not have to worry about unplugging, going down. If you live yeah, in an apartment yeah. on the 20th floor, you don't have to come down and unplug it. It Got will it. cut off. Yes. But it was also paired to only your vehicle, so only your Aether 450 can charge on your home charger. Yeah. Now the question, another yes, one please. is, what if, now is there a storage mode? For example, I want to park this machine and come back after one year. Okay. I don't want to charge it for one year. Like for example, my drone batteries, right. uh, they have a mode, something called storage mode. Right. Okay, I uh, in my software of the drone app, I can set it to after 10 days, it will go into storage mode and the battery for almost next one year will stay at about 30% so that it will not fully discharge. So, do we have a storage mode where I can just keep this machine and not charge it for about a year? Not yet. Uh, uh, because yeah. I'm so sorry. But I think we will be able to work on this. Now, it's something that we are working on uh -huh. to have a more, uh, uh, more, how do you say, wider spectrum of usage. Yeah. But it's not something we've been able to cover so far. But it is something that we are improving day by but day. But I think I have right a solution now. for this. Uh, you have a smart charger, right? Right. Okay. Smart charger should be able to not just charge the battery but also should be able to maintain the charger uh, maintain the battery right so what if i just connect it and leave it and you, come back after one year uh, you can but then in that one year the probable causes are not within the system it will yeah. probably be outside of that ecosystem mm. so any untoward happen true, in true, the, within that true. one year especially considering that a lot of uh, a lot of urban uh, urban scapes, especially in India, mm. have a lot of earthing issues. So yeah, we wouldn't yeah. advise it as of now. It's not something correct. we can guarantee as of correct. now. And that's why but your charger can handle it, correct? Yes, yes, so yes. I can just connect oh, it, leave it. Officially, I <laughs> officially we cannot, we do not advise yeah, it. We advise true. a full charge at least every yes. three months, which is required. But uh, we don't see it as a problem. Yeah, because like for example, a motorcycle battery. Okay, if we are keeping a motorcycle for a long term storage. We have smart chargers, okay, which have battery management system. Uh, and if we connect that smart charger to a motorcycle's battery, it will keep maintaining the battery. It could be for six months, it could be for one year. Okay, it can run on that. So, I mean, I'm not taking this from him, but I am saying if the uh, charger of this scooter can do that, you can actually connect it to the scooter and leave it for one year. I don't think that should be a problem. You know that that can work. I mean, we, yeah. I mean, most of our uh, most of our uh, customers, as of now, I think use it on a daily basis. Yes. This is probably some feedback we need to probably take. Back. It will happen. And you will face a situation where you're going to store your machine. You know, exactly. because many of our bikers, we buy motorcycles and store them for in different kind of situations for six months or one year. We don't Absolutely. touch them. Absolutely. So Absolutely. it happens. It happens. So buddies, very important question. What is the ampere hour okay, of this battery? Now, what is ampere hour? On your phone, you keep hearing this, milliamps, milliamps, 3000 milliamps, 4000 milliamps. Ampere hour is like the capacity. Like for example, if you have a tank, okay, overhead tank on your building, if uh, it has 100 liters, okay, and if you're pumping it out with a pipe, which is say half an inch pipe, then probably within about an hour the water will come to an end but if you have a thousand liter tank and if you're pumping it out with the same half inch pipe 
it will take about 10 hours to pump it out okay that is the capacity of the battery is the ampere hour okay. how long will it last supplying the same amount of power okay, okay. so if your phone say is 3500 ampere hour then probably with the screen on time will be about four hours or something like that you got it that's very critical so this one how many ampere hours we have 49 ampere hours 49 ampere 49 hour ampere. battery and that's good the voltage system is a 48 volt system. okay normal voltage is somewhere in the range of 51 Okay, so just to give you an idea, your home UPS battery or home inverter battery would be about 150 ampere hour. Okay, so this is a 49, 49 ampere hour, which is I think good enough. And uh, uh, voltage, you said it's about it's a 48, volts. 48 volts, 48 volts. You know, you need high voltage for what to spin the motor so fast. You know, to give that acceleration, you need higher voltage. Okay, and now. Very important thing. Praveen, could you please get closer? On a gasoline machine, that petrol machine, there's a lot of maintenance and oil changes, engine, piston and everything. Here, you don't have all of that, okay? You have a battery, you have a motor, okay? Excellent. So, we don't have that kind of a maintenance, but we still have maintenance. Absolutely. Okay? So, we don't have a chain, we have a belt. How long can the belt last? The belts ideally designed for a, a life of upwards of 100k, but we definitely warranted for about 50,000 kilometers. 50,000 kilometers. So, if this one, I mean, there's nothing called maintenance, right? But you can just generally clean it, you know, uh, make you sure. You check for slack. So, yes. the slack here is something that's very important to yes. deliver the right kind of power. If there is some slack, you're going to see a kind of, uh, True. Kind of reduction in the kind of power that's going to be delivered. Uh, we always check for slack. Ideally, once every six months is what we advise. Uh, apart from that, there's not much in terms of yeah. maintenance power. Of the course, you can, you know, a rider, an owner should make sure that there isn't too much of dust or sand or anything like that. Just clean okay. this up. And how much would this cost to replace? Uh, totally, including the primary and the secondary belt would mm -hmm. come to about 6,000. 6,000 rupees, both the belts. Yes. And again, under warranty, it will be replaced. Okay. So, the first three years, you have nothing to do. Okay, first three years, we don't have to worry about the belt also? That's, that's that's good. And next, tires. Ravid. So we have MRF tires, correct? Yes. Yeah. And these look like these are kind of good tough compound, which is good. We don't need very soft compound tires. Now I'm thinking if we ride them hard, they'll still last for about 20,000 kilometers, the rear one. Front should last much longer. Okay. And we have Bibri brakes, Praveen, here. Okay, Bybri is the same uh, brake, same caliper that is on the KTM's. Okay, so these are good. And now, what if the fork oil seal leaks? Now this is fork. Okay, and there would be oil inside. Yes. What if the oil seal starts to leak? Who is going to service this? So we have our dedicated service center okay. in every city that we launch. Okay. It is. Uh, in terms of other service aspects of the vehicle, it is minimal. But in terms of the mechanical mm -hmm. fixing, we will be able to. We would be more than happy to. Do. All right. And so we have to. replacement of brake pads. Right. I'm thinking, considering she's pretty powerful, not fast but powerful. Okay. So the brake pads should last about fifteen thousand kilometers. I definitely approve yeah. that. We haven't heard of any. We haven't got any replacement so far in the last year and a mm. half. Uh, but again, a lot of hard braking. If you tend to use the combined braking system a lot more than mm. the front, you should go. You should see some even wear and tear. Yeah. So, and that should kind of definitely, if you're looking at an urban riding, your speeds are not too hard. Yeah. Uh, it, the vehicle tops out at 80, so you're not going to bring, bring it to a lot of hard stops. Mm. If you're gentle on the brakes, you're going to see upwards of 25 to 30. All right. And how much would it cost to replace a brake pad? So we have a service plan where all your service subscription. Mm. All of it is included where brake pads are also taken care of. We would even replace the brake. Alright, so we don't have to pay for it. Wow. That's the idea, uh, that's the part of the Aether experience. We okay. want to ensure that you have a hassle free, okay. no hidden cost ownership experience mm -hmm. as well. Excellent. So, but I'm thinking in case we still have to replace by paying it probably a few hundred. Yeah, correct. Not, correct. More than, not more than a few hundred. Got it. I think we have everything covered and I believe there's something called Aether. Uh, Plan subscription. Are, yes. What is so, that? So, either subscription plan, apart from the vehicle mm -hmm. experience and the driving experience, the ownership experience is also something very critical for us. Mm -hmm. uh, a customer buying the vehicle, using it, coming back and getting uh, hidden costs, hidden charges, unnecessary spare part costs is something we wanted to always avoid. And traditionally. 
customers are usually taken for service, any child parts, any parts removed and replaced are usually charged to the customer. We want to eliminate that whole process. Pay an upfront subscription cost and we will take care of your 3G SIM card cost, mm -hmm. your service cost, your public charging cost, your pickup, roadside assistance, mm -hmm. even any time you charge your vehicle in your home, yeah. the home charging that you do is reimbursed. Now All this right. is on the 450, on the 450X and the 450 mm -hmm. Plus, we will be giving out other other subscription plans right, which will right. be coming out in the coming okay, months. Okay, so currently what does the subscription plan cost? Uh, anywhere between 3,500 rupees to 10,000 rupees annually. Oh, alright. That's pretty economical. Okay. And uh, very important question. A full charge in terms of rupees approximately, how much will it cost? 15 rupees. 15 rupees. In Bangalore. In Bangalore. 13.5 actually. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Eliminate the decimals and you have roughly about 15 rupees for anywhere between 55 to 75 kilometers. So, one kilometer will cost us about 20, 25 paise or something? Absolutely correct. Okay, cool. And anything more, buddies? If you have any questions about this, I think I'm almost done asking everything. Uh, do leave uh, your questions in the comments and I'll ask my friend. And we can actually show the charging thing right yes. there. Yeah? Come, Robin. So, this is the charging dock, correct? Uh huh. And we just have to take this and put it into the scooter just in the front, it, right? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You also Excellent. have a, yeah. it has a solenoid lock, so it locks in once you charge. Mm -hmm. Once you once you turn off the ignition, you need to turn it on, plug it in, turn off the ignition and it starts charging. Mm -hmm. to, to stop the charging, again, plug your key back in, switch it on and it stops charging, the lock unlocks and you can pull it out. Now I have a question. <laughs> yes. You said that this can only charge my scooter. Your home charger is mapped to only your scooter. What if my friend visits my place and I have to charge? I don't think he, he will have to have his own portable charger, something okay. that fits in the boot of your vehicle. Okay. Or he will have to be fully charged. He'll okay. have to be charged. Up so portable car. charger, do you have to buy it separately? It is an additional purchase. Mm. But why is this? Why? I mean, why can't I charge other scooters? So, uh, Something I explained yeah. earlier mm. is your home reimbursement. So mm. any charging that you do with your home charger, with the subscription plans that we have, you can have the charging cost from this reimbursement. Got it, got it, so got it. any any number of charging. Yeah. Now we, with that happening, we will only exclusively have it mapped to your mm. vehicle. But in the coming years, we are open to flexible. We are a, we are a, we are a yeah. company that learns. We are yeah. a company that takes sure. feedback sure. from the customer. Yes. So in case. In the coming years, we take yeah. some feedback and it, it it does not deem worthy that we do not need a feature like this. It is always a software, a, a software yeah. update away from making it available for anybody else. Excellent. So how do we put this in? Yeah. It's a straight fix. All right. Yeah. Excellent. I think we are done. Super. So how much does it cost? <laughs> yeah. So the 450 right now yeah. is about one lakh eleven thousand in Bangalore on road. Okay. The 450 plus and the four, the 450 X that we're going to launch in the coming months has an extra room price of one point four nine lakhs and one point five nine lakhs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, insurance. Insurance uh, is covered like your basic bike insurance comes in the range of five thousand rupees. All right. Which will take give you five years of third party insurance and one year of comprehensive. Fine. I think that is it. Shall we get you on the road? Yeah, let's go.